Alright. I just got off the phone. Let's see here. Come on, let's go. We're just gonna kinda trot around here. And I'm gonna check my stream health really quick, and we're gonna see if maybe this problem is resolved. I had to, I just got off the phone with my internet service provider who told me that oh. Oh, there we go. Gotta wait for the stream to kinda kick in here. So far, it looks much better. So I'm just going to kind of sit here and watch the stream, you know, make sure that we're not buffering. And hopefully, we will be back in the game. And, um, yeah, so far, it's looking like it's much better. Now, oh, no, maybe not. Oh, no. I already see the buffering. Dang. Am I dropping frames? I'm not dropping frames like I was before. My stream health is good. Let's check. Try on a different browser. Maybe that'll I'll try with Google Chrome, whatever that is. YouTube, you've been tubing. You be tube dabat comum, slabish brabadem and subbin de freebe. Um, ah! Oh. Everything's good. Don't worry. Oh, yep, yeah, no. 720, let's do 1440p. Yeah, it is still... Wow, the notification... Hey, Jennifer! Notification work tonight. Awesome! Um, so basically what I'm doing here is we're testing... I'm just testing the live stream. I'm watching at 1440p through, like on Google Chrome, and it's actually, you know, I'm getting a little bit of stuttering. Let's see if I can kind of get some more, get a little bit more action on the screen. It's just gonna take up more information here. Just to see what I can get going. See, it's looking okay. Fatal error. Hey, how's it going, buddy? See, now it looks like it's streaming okay. I have yet to... Uh... Wait, am I logged? Yeah, I'm lo okay, I'm logged on here. Good, good. Do, 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 do. See, now... Now nobody's going to come back to the stream because they're like, Brad's stream's going up and down more than his ex... Wait, oh no, 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 no. Yeah, everything's looking good. We're going to try to continue. I'm not... Are you guys buffering it at all? Jennifer or Fatal Error? Anyone? Anyone in the chat room? See, I can't see how many people are in the chat now. It says there's 10 people watching. Uh, fatal error says it's buffering every once in a while. See, it's not buffering for me at all right now. Um, it's giving me... Yeah, it's saying the stream is... Oh, there it kind of buffered just up oh, now it's well see i'm switching back and forth between browsers so i can't tell tag on it james black says all good here 
And I think I'm gonna... Sean White just subscribed. Thank you so much, Sean. Yeah, it's way... Whatever was happening before, it's way better now. I have no idea what was going on before. That was really weird. <laughs> Code Brown! I don't want to know what Code Brown is. Alright, so what am I... What, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So, let's see. What is going on? And, oh, there we go. Great. So now, now there's only going to be 12 people watching, and nobody's going to come back and be like, eh, Brad's done for the night. He's probably just testing. So we're just going to go. We're going to go go for it. Uh, okay, so I'm... Okay. Barl... Or no, oats. We are harvesting oats. And then whatever's over here, which I completely forgot. <laughs> Night Owl 5000, welcome as I'm running over my header trailer here. Oh, my random channel. Have you seen the Chewbacca poop video yet? I sh I'm almost sad that I'm saying it aloud on a live stream. It's probably not... G it's de I, I don't think it's G-rated, and I'm even not convinced it's PG. It's probably rated R, but I don't really know what happened in it. It's beyond my human comprehension. Um, all right, away we go, away we go. Hey. Oh, we got, we got soybeans up here. Uh-oh. Oh. See, it's still stuttering, but it's not nearly as bad as it was before. So hopefully you guys will hang out. And maybe over the course of the next hour or so, it'll uh, it'll clear up and you know, like a bad rash. All right, so we got a few more people joining. We're up to 16 viewers now. really wished I would have gotten started a lot earlier. Um, I tried to get started a lot earlier, but the internet, the interwebs just wasn't having it. They were like, no, Brad, we are not going to let you live stream tonight or something of that nature. Uh, there's my new farm back there. We are on, let's see, we're on field 17 here. Let's put up the mini map for you guys so you can see where we're at. Uh, we're, again, we're playing on Ravenport. Raven? Ravenport? Yeah. Raven Loft, Raven Home. I don't know. Raven. Raven Farts. Good here so far. <laughs> Nothing like fart jokes to make my day. Oh man, I okay. So if you guys have been watching the channel, um, you know. Also, if you guys are, you know, if you guys get on my Discord at all, um, I was sending out messages. You know, I haven't been doing live streams for the past few nights. Because I got so freaking sick. I, I look like Thursday night, I had stomach pain so bad that I was seriously like 
contemplating calling the ambulance to take me to the hospital. So I don't know if I got some kind of stomach flu. I don't know if I had some kind of food poisoning. I just, I don't know what was going on with, with me, but um, it was no fun. I wouldn't recommend trying it out. But um, I'm pretty much back to normal now. I'd say I'm, you know, back to 90%. Don't have any of the stomach pain, thank gosh. And um, still trying to get some of my energy back. So, yeah, you know, just trying to get through that. And um, so, yeah, I was like, that's the first time I've, you know, been, you know, sick in a long time. I did have some mild flu-like symptoms, but it wasn't anything like you know, super major or anything like that. So I'm just glad that whatever was inside my body is now, you know, past and, and I'm feeling better so that I can come back and live stream for you guys. Cause, um, I was really missing it. I, you know, I was wanting to live stream, even gaming. I couldn't even like, like Wednesday or Thursday afternoon. I, I couldn't even sit at my computer to even casually game my my stomach was hurting so bad and I tried to eat a little bit and and I just that just Thursday night into Friday morning you know it's like I just could not sleep I couldn't you know I couldn't really eat anything nothing tasted good and I'm like oh great there's like a hepatitis A outbreak in my area, meaning like there's been two cases in like the last week. And I'm like, oh great, maybe I have hepatitis, which I really hope I don't. Um, no, if I had hepatitis, I would literally be in the hospital, I'm pretty sure. Because that's some pretty serious. When you get hep A, that's, that's some bad, bad stuff right there. But anyway, um, it looks like, uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing I had the stomach flu. And instead of it being like a 24-hour thing, it was like a 48-hour thing. So, you know, I could tell you all about the diarrhea and the, you know, how the poop splashed on my bum and all that stuff. But I'll just kind of save you the gruesome details. All that chili I ate, um, you never know. It could have been. <laughs> you never know. All right, guys, let's hit that. Everybody in the chat, please hit the like button. Let's see. Whoa, let's see if we can get some more people in here. Let's do a like spike. Come on. Let's see here. I wanna, I'm going to like my own video, if that's even possible. <laughs> I liked my own video. Uh-oh. Speaking of liking my own video, I just realized how full this combine is getting. But, oh man, I I tell you what, like, my stomach hurt so bad that I thought there was going to, like, I thought I was, like, bleeding internally. It's It was literally that bad. It was so horrible. I wouldn't wish that on anyone except for my worst enemies. All right, so we're almost. Uh oh, helper A has. Who's got? Who's helper A? Oh, he's down there. Okay. All right, so this guy's gonna be done soon. Ooh, no, he's not quite full. What do we? Wait, what do we have down here? Oh, good, it's canola. Okay. Canola, ka 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 canola. C -c 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 -canola. Double R! Hey, how's it going, Double R? It's going going much better today than it has been the last few days. Because I've been sicker than a dog. When they say you're sicker than a dog, like, how sick is that, really? Oh, fart barnacles.
You know, I really cured the whatever I had. I, I ate like a... I get like... Um, like uh, chicken and dumplings. Like this Denty Moore chicken and dumpling soup in the big can. And I was so hungry. I guess it was Friday. Was it Friday? Yeah, I think it was Friday night. Or Friday afternoon or something. And I, I, I got up. I was so freaking hungry. You guys have no idea like how hungry I was. And I decided I took one out of the, the cupboard because like you know I got my canned soups there for like emergencies. And so uh, I cooked up one of those things, sat down and ate the whole thing in one sitting. That's a, that's a lot. It's quite a bit to eat. But I ate the whole freaking thing, and um, and I was like, okay, I, I gotta go get some sleep. And so uh, I went back and slept. And you know, Saturday morning I got up and I felt a lot. Well, actually, even Friday night, like late Friday night, like 10 or 11 p.m., I could, con I, you know, I, I was kind of feeling like the pain in my stomach wasn't, you know, quite so bad anymore. And, um, wait, Helper E has completely... Who the heck is Helper E? Oh, that's that guy. Okay. Yeah, I, I was feeling, you know, like, okay, this is getting a little bit better. I don't think I'm going to need to go to, like, urgent care or my, my doctor. Watch out, horsey. You know, I, I wasn't, I wasn't going to have to take any drastic steps to cure my, you know, whatever was violating my body. Side front. There we go. Teaching myself how to use the Giants editor in the last couple days. Nice. I've always kind of thought about maybe getting into modding, but I just, I just don't have the time for it, Pro or, or the patience probably. But I'd say much of it is time related more than anything. Dang it! He did it again. I'm gonna have to take this tree out, I think. Maybe maybe we'll work on that. That tree and this tree over here. And everything looks like it's going pretty good on the stream. As far as like the stream quality and everything, so we're all good to go. Let's see here. Where's this guy? Okay. Let's go a little bit further. I wanna try to get down to where we straighten out and then um, I'm gonna hire the worker and we're going to go bring the semi up here to offload this guy. The internet fixed itself. Yay! Yes, it did, Sid. Thank gosh. More importantly, my intestines fixed themselves. Because, boy. And the farts. Oh, my gosh, you guys. You can't even imagine. Especially, like, last night. Because I was like... What was I, what did I make for dinner last night? What did I make for dinner last night? I can't even remember what I had for dinner last night. What did I have for dinner? I didn't have soup. Pretty sure, no, I didn't have pizza. I can't remember what I had for dinner last night. But anyways, I was wa maybe in the course of me talking about how bad my farts were last night. Um, I'll I'll remember what it was that I fixed. John Stanley, hello. Um, no, I was I was doing the dishes and I just was like so just filled with gas and just nasty. Stinky. Ooh, this horse's name is Oblivion. I just about farted my butt into Oblivion the other day. Um, that's for sure. No, I, oh my gosh, it was so terrible. And the smell, oh my gosh. It was like being in like the rotten egg factory or something. It was just horrible. Um, <laughs> Night Owl 5000 says, I hope someone overhauls Ravenport. 
The Ravenport map. Yes. Please overhaul it and take all the garbage off of it. Please. That would make me so happy. Please start the engine. All right. Let's... Let's go the worst possible way we could go. So we're going to go up this way. And I actually wouldn't mind using the editing tool and potentially like smoothing this out and, and putting like a you know, like a different ground texture, you know, for like an asphalt ground texture going up this way. Um, but I think it would be really expensive to do it. Um, Dion, hi, Brad. I got to learn how to use Discord. Yeah, Discord's pretty good. Like the, like the more you play around with it, the, you know, the easier it gets. That is for sure. But yeah, I, you know, I always talk to people, you know, if you, if you at me, <clears throat> what's kind of cool is you can like at people on Discord and um, and it'll send a notification. And I, I have the notification, like the, the audio and like push notifications turned off. But, you know, I check my Discord regularly um, you know, throughout the day. And so, you know, I will, I always respond to people. Now I'm going to get, like, everybody on my Discord channel, like, adding me nonstop. But, um, but, yeah. It's, you know, it's a nice place to, you know, chat and share pictures and, you know, all kinds of stuff. All right, so here's my new farm up here. And I'm just going to go over here. Let's get, okay, so he's moving... Let's get this guy moving on field 2425. Helper A has a full grant. Oh, you gotta be joking me. <sighs> um, well. Wait, where's the big cedar? I think that's up at the upper farm. Well, we'll have to check that out here in a second. Because I'm not exactly sure where it is. And if it is up there, we're going to have to bring it down to our big field down here so that we can get some... get some seeding going on. Night Owl 5000. Yeah, it's a shame Giants made it look like... Yeah, I just... I don't know why they thought it would be a great idea to make the America, the USA map look like a complete you-know-what hole. <laughs> oh, and I've even got the smaller helper H. Gosh, everybody's got full grain tanks. Oh gosh, this isn't even going to come close to offloading this thing. Oh, I forgot we had the solar panel. That's right. All righty. Oh. All right, off we go. It's wait. <laughs> the horse is waiting for the... Why is your horse just standing there in the road? <laughs> Because I've got better things to do, more well, at least more productive things to do than send. Why is the why is Helper A still sitting there not doing anything? Oh, 
Oh, I wonder if I still have the bigger tipper back here at the farm. Because I, you know, I'll get that because that's got 20. That'll at least hold 21,000. Yeah, here's the horse sitting in the middle of the road. You got your new gaming PC, but your graphics card isn't good for game. What kind of graphics card did you get? If it's a gaming PC without a gaming graphics card, then it's not really a gaming PC, is it? Oh, and Dion, I've looked pretty much everywhere I can think to look, and I cannot find any information about the uh, the DeLorean build for the Canadian market. It, it could be something that they come out with down the road, but right now it does not look like they're offering it. All right, let's just take this guy back. Um, where is our other tipper? sell it, did I? Where is the tip bar? Um. Okay, he's good to go. Wait, where is it? It's not there. Oh, it's up here, I bet. There's the, there's the, uh, the gens. Ugh. I love how these doors open, but the, like the normal doors don't open. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, and here's the cedar. Good, good. In that case, let's see. Let's move this guy out of the way. What kind of pricing do we have? 2800 Uh, let's see what do we got? Nothing great on canola here. Actually, wait a second. Where where is the piece of paper that I had the canola price written on? 2465 was the highest. So actually 2325 is a pretty, you know, right here is a pretty darn good price for canola. So maybe um, we will sell canola. What the heck is going on here? Move. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's weird. Um, I guess we're going to cruise up to the top of the hill and bring the, let's see, I'm going to switch to my controller here. Yeah, we're going to bring the, uh, the big cedar down. Uh, we need to bring down the trailer first, I think, just so we can offload. I wish I could hook the trailer up and then hook up the cedar. That would be so awesome. Doesn't your 18 wheel wheeler hold two different crops? It can, yeah. Oh, I saw this really cool video the other day of some farmers unloading a um, unloading a silo, and I was I was trying. It was in the middle of the night when I was sick and I was just kind of laying in bed watching some videos and not feeling very gr you know, great. And <laughs> I don't think this is going to work, but let's try. It's not going to work because it doesn't have a three point. But I'm going to see where hey pounds. That's not going to work. It's even stupid of me to think that it might. Um, yeah, I found, I found this really cool video. And at the end of it, they were actually loading up a Wilson trailer. Have I tried the Westby, Wisconsin map yet? Nope, I haven't. 
prices on the new GPUs are atrocious, and I'm super cheap. Um, yeah, they're getting worse and worse. And I, I honestly, I think NVIDIA is artificially... I, there's no reason why... I mean, a, a year or so ago, or even two years ago... Well, a year, you, you know, year and a half ago when Bitcoin was going crazy, you know, I can see why... Or at least I could see then why the the gpu prices were so high and now i think you know nvidia is just getting greedy and i don't think the rtx 2080 is selling as you know nearly as well as they would like it to because i'm i'm perfectly fine on, on waiting because my my gtx 1080 10 ooh, 1080 is perfect um i could even upgrade to a 1080 ti probably for you know, way less than a, it would cost me to upgrade to a 2080. And, uh, and it would be all good. So, to be honest, I miss Farming Sim 15. Oh, I don't at all. Why would you miss that old game? I mean, there's nothing stopping you from playing it if you own it. You can always go back to it. Uh, welcome back, Sea Pain. I'm holding out for the Commodore 64 version of FS19. You can buy it right now. It's on, uh, I don't know if it's on Steam, but I know you can definitely uh, buy it from the uh, the Farming Simulator, you know, Farming Dice Simulator store. Uh, I use a GTX 1050 Ti and no lag ever, and graphics are good. Yeah, I mean, with a 1080 or 1050 Ti, you should be able to play FS19, you know, 1080p, you know, you could play it at ultra graphics settings. You might not get 60 frames a second, but um, you know, it's not. Gonna, it's going to be playable. It's not going to be horrible by any stretch. All right, so I'm going to leave the trailer here. Helper D has a full grain tank. Well, it's not that guy. It's. Oh, nearly full. Nearly. See, that's the key word right there. Oh, actually, let's go over and feed these to the horses. There we are. card is an AMD Radeon R7 240. It's an older card, but might be okay. Does anyone know if a Seasons mod has come out? No, it has not. Um, as far as I know, they're, they're still working on it, but you guys got to remember there's been so... Oh, we're not even empty, which is good. So, horses right now are at maximum oats. Um, what was I going to say? What was I saying? saying? Let's see. Uh, you have to play it on in Intel integrated graph. Ooh, my, my bad. Or, well, my condolences. Not my bad, but, yeah, definitely condolences. Because that's rough. You can get the 750 Ti for, like, 100 bucks on even. Yeah, don't. Don't get a 750 Ti. It's like four, di four what? Uh, seven. They didn't have an eight series, so it's like three generations old. The 750 Ti came out in what? 20. Because it came out about the same time. It came out after the 980s were released, but before the 980 Ti's were released, I'm pretty sure. So that would have been like. Spring of 2015, I think, is when the, the 750s came out. And it's not that, for 100 bucks, it's not that you know great of a card. Um, what are the prices on the 1060s right now? Or even a 1050 Ti would blow the 750 Ti out of the water. And you'll, and you'll be able to run, you know, much higher end games with it as well. So that's why I'm kind of like, don't get a 750 Ti. If it was two years ago, you know, I would probably say, you know, you could get away with a 750 Ti. And you probably could for games like, you know, Farming Sim. But if you want, if you want 
you know, higher end games, you know, good performance, and, and even higher end games like, you know, GTA or, you know, games like Star Citizen or something like that, yeah, you definitely kind of want to get get going with a a 10 series or you know, a, like a 1060, 1050 Ti, you know, something along those lines. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to go up. We're going to grab the uh, the big Amazon cedar. Or Amazon, however they say it. Let's see, my GTX 970... I have two of them in SLI. I get 60 FPS on ultra high. Um, this farm, I don't think farming simulator supports SLI in, does it? <clears throat> the problem with SLI is the games themselves have to directly support SLI. Otherwise you don't get SLI performance. Lake Farm says post office is always closed on Sundays. That is true. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> CYH5 missed the notification. Yeah, it might have been because I was doing so many different live streams at the same time that um, it was like, we don't know what to do. Uh, what is Brad doing? Yeah, my uh, my internet service provider, they finally did a refresh on my uh, my internet line, and so that might have, you know, cured the problem. I'm still getting a little bit of lag here and there, or, you know, a little bit of buffering every once in a while, but um, yeah, overall, it looks pretty darn good. I mean, it's a million times better than it was, that's for darn sure. So, let's see, it's after 10 o'clock. Um, I'm gonna try to get this harvest done and maybe we'll get a little bit of the seeding done as well. And then, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna make it all the way through all the seeding that we need to do, but uh, we're gonna try, I'm gonna try. Um, how long have I been streaming for, CY? It's been 37 minutes and 50 seconds. So quite a while. U.S. Postal Service does not deliver packages on Sunday. Um, they do on Saturday, but not on Sunday. Adam Nielsen, hello! Yeah, I guarantee you that the U.S. Postal Service does not guarantee... Or not 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 guarantee but does not uh, deliver on Sundays I don't think they ever have I can I can't remember a single time in my lifetime where they have unless it's like some really weird place like you know in Alaska or something where it's like literally out in the middle of nowhere and they have no other choice but to get a package out to old man you know McGraw living down by the river out in the middle of, you know, polar bear country or something. I don't know. Um, what in the world? Oh. I was like, what in the world? He's almost done. Wait, which one? Oh, I'm looking for this guy. This guy. Uh. Someday I'm going to have to come up here and we're going to have to deal with this part of the field, I think. U.S. Postal Service delivers Amazon packages on Sundays. Um, I don't think they do. Amazon, Amazon has their own drivers that deliver packages on Sundays. 
But I don't think it goes... I don't know. I'll have to look into that. Because I don't think U.S. Postal Service would do that. But maybe they do. I don't know. Stranger things have happened. But, um, yeah, I know in certain markets, uh, Amazon, ha or Amazon has their own uh, driver. Because I remember some time ago, I got... I bought something next day air or whatever from Amazon and the next day when the because I, I don't know for whatever reason I got like free next day I think and um, yeah a guy from a guy showed up to the, the house just like in a regular pickup truck and and he runs out and I just happened to be outside I think I was doing some painting on my this is when I lived at my old place because I you know my my old uh, condo was at, at ground level and um, so, yeah, I think, um, yeah, he pulled up in just like a regular pickup truck. There were no markings on it whatsoever. And I was like, but it wasn't on a Sunday or anything. It was just on like a regular day. TX Star, hey, hey. U.S. Postal Service dropped off two boxes for me. That is weird. I don't, you know, maybe because of the snowstorm. I mean, I don't know. I do not know. When the U.S. Postal Service first started, they used to deliver on horseback, but, well, that's true. Check my screen. Uh-oh. I just buffered there for a second. Wait, check which screen, Blue. Uh, it's been a thing since 2013. This week, the post. Huh. Package delivery on Sunday. Oh. Uh, well, I've never received anything from Amazon on Sundays, which could happen. Oh. <laughs> hey, you missed the spot. That's all right. I can get it at the end. Oh. Okay, he's finished. Man, he's going to be finished up here, too. All right, so I'm going to go get one of the case tractors. Um, we are going to get him or get a case working on reseeding the fields down there. <laughs> I'd like to see the drone delivery. Um, they're actually, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they were actually testing um, drone delivery in Ohio. But I don't know. I mean, they, they weren't actually testing it to people's houses, but apparently they were testing the drones in this air in like one of the rural areas. I kind of know where, but I don't really want to talk about it because it was kind of on the hush hush. I, like I, when I was told, I was you know the only reason I was told was one of the people involved with the project was like, oh. You know, I know you like to fly drones, Brad. And by the way, Amazon, like, don't tell anybody, but Amazon's working here. And um, so I was like, ooh, that's kind of interesting to know. So I don't know if that's still a thing or, you know, there's so much red tape, especially with the government, to, uh, to get through on drone delivery that I don't see it happening really anytime soon. I think they still just have to do way more testing and I to be honest with you I don't even want to know how expensive drone delivery is going to be because it ain't going to be funny however you know however expensive it will turn out to be it's going to be redonkulously expensive alright 
we are going to be stocked up on oats, I think, for quite some time. Uh, we've got 13. Well, actually, we don't really have that much. I thought we had a little bit more than that. Oh, oh, I have some time. Just go ahead and grab the uh, canola helper D. Has a new full grain tank. What? What the monkey? What the? What an everlasting poop snake did I just do? Right. I'm so glad that, like, items will correctly flip when connected like that now. They didn't used to do that. Amazon uses regular people to do delivery. Well, yeah, I mean, they, they just hire people and they'll just use their own personal vehicles and then they get to write the mileage off. Um, or they might even, Amazon might pay them the mileage. I don't know how exactly that would work. Wait, where's helper D? Oh, that must be, okay, that's that. All right. From what I heard, the altitude they want for drone delivery is the recreationally recreational altitude for jumping off the plane and hot air balloon. Oh yeah, I see what you're saying. Well, air, um, the the altitude for skydiving is generally anywhere from. 35, like 3,500 feet up to above ground level up to about 12 to 14,000 feet. Above 14,000 feet, you, uh, you have to have supplemental oxygen for everybody on board. Well, for the pilots. Actually, I think, I'm not sure if you need it for everybody on board except for pilots, but I think above... 14,000 or 14,500. I'd have to go back and look at my regs. Um, you need it for everybody on board. Um, where is the seat? Where's my other seater? What well, ain't up here? Oh, crap. It's over there. Let's pick up this little bit. So we've got another 12,000 soybeans in here. Okay, there's the other cedar. Great. Yeah, so you're not going to have a drone flying above. I mean, a, a, a Amazon delivery drone wouldn't really need to fly above, you know, three or four hundred feet AGL. Really, I mean, it, you would kind of want it to be close to the ground. Um, now, it would be in the airspace of other recreational drone flyers, but I mean, 
you know, accidents. Accidents are going to happen. I don't care what anybody says. Somebody's eventually going to get killed by a drone. Um, it will happen. Mark my words. I, I, you know, I wish that it wouldn't, but someone somewhere down the line will eventually get killed by one of these UAVs or drones or whatever you want to call them. Um, and it's probably already happened. I just, you know, haven't really heard about it. But, um, you know, I still don't really think that drone flying, at least not around where I live, I don't think that, you know, drone flight is a big, you know, I don't think it's a major issue here yet. Nor do I expect it to be for, like, many years. But, you know, things can change. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So how many likes do we have? Let's see. We got 59, 60 people watching. Ah, wrong mouse. And we only have 23 likes. Let's see if we can get up to 50 likes. Can we do that tonight, guys? We gotta, we gotta hit the like button so all the other people will know that um, <laughs> that I'm live streaming. Like, oh my God, Brad's not sick anymore. He's back. Yeah, I was playing um, Star Citizen earlier today too. They've got the um, the new well, the PTU, which is the Persistent Test Universe. I, I bet on that, and um, uh, you can't see me. Forty four just subscribed. Thank you so much. You can't see me. I can see you now. <clears throat> Sixty-four gigs of mem memory. What do you need sixty-four gigs of memory for? Adam Utnage. Hello, Adam. It's been a while. Well, if you've been gone for a while, welcome back. Plenty of room on there. So let's see. He okay. This guy is almost done. Um, he is going to be finished here in just a moment. Actually, I kind of like the way. Oh, is he going to do it? Oh, look at that. Uh oh. No. Yeah, take take it from somebody who knows a lot about computers. You don't need 64 gigs of RAM. Cuz your your computer will never touch. I mean, even with even if I'm running Star Citizen, which still it's actually Star Citizen's been pretty, been pretty stable. I haven't really had any memory leak issues in probably 2 months. But even when I did it was incredibly rare that with, like, I could have Star Citizen running, I could have Farming Sim running, I could have Photoshop open, watching YouTube, all kinds of stuff, and my computer wouldn't even be using, you know, 14 or 15 gigs of RAM. So the only time you really need more than that is, A, if you're creating a RAM drive, which is kind of pointless, uh, especially with the advent of solid state drives and or or number two if you're editing like really big videos and I just upgraded to 32 gigabytes of RAM for my Mac and I can tell a big difference because you know some of the um, some of my videos like the DeLorean build the, I shoot those in 4k 
And so, you know, even for like a 20 minute video, um, you know, a 20 minute video is probably going to be easily eight to 10 gigs uh, just on disk. So it's got to load all that into memory. Oh, excuse me. If I go with like a, a larger one, because I've had a few build episodes get up to, you know, a good hour or so. And, uh, and those can definitely be in the 18 to 20 gig, um, you know, size ranges when, once they're finally rendered. I mean, one, even before they're rendered, they can easily be 20, 25 gigs um, just for the, you know, the single hour long file. So th in those cases, you could, you would need it, but to go with eight, you would need eight slots, eight gigs each. That's a that's a lot of money to spend. You would you would much better you'd be much better off going with um, thirty two gigs of RAM and and going with basically eight banks of four gigabytes each, and that would actually maximize your um, your memory throughput across every memory lane. And, but but still, I mean, for gaming, you're probably not going to see much of a difference. You might see, you know, in in benchmarking software, you might see like a three or four percent, you know, difference. But I don't know that that's enough of a difference to make it worth the extra money. So I don't know. Uh, I thought you can't, or you can't see me, says, I thought I'd subbed a while ago. Love the videos and streams, Brad. Well, thank you very much, and glad you're finally officially subbed. Helper B has a new full grain tank. Yeah, because if, if, if 32 gigs were, or 64 gigs were a thing, I would definitely be doing it. And it's just not. It's just a huge waste of money for literally 99.9% .9 of applications out there. Um, Donato's is testing driverless cars in some markets. I did actually, I saw a, a YouTube video there there were like some people I, mean, I don't know if it was youtube or twitter where it was to be honest with you but i saw a video within the last two months and it actually showed the car driving up and it was like please take please open the door on the side of the car and take your pizza out and then you had to, i think you had to put punch in like a verification code and there was like a little door or something on the side of the car that opened up i mean that's just that's kind of ridiculous though when you think about it I mean, it's Donato's Pizza. I mean, can you honestly think that Donato's is selling enough pizzas to warrant a, like an, a completely autonomous pizza delivery vehicle? <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. But, you know, the technology is cool. So whatevs. We'll let, we'll let Domino's uh, or Donato's. No, it's not Donato's. Domino's. We'll let them uh, push the push the uh, technology envelope I guess all right where's my big tr oh no bombs ribbon bombs ribbon and bombs we start the engine first I'm I'm actually more interested in like the human-sized drones. What, you know, it's basically kind of like a a, a a big, really big drone that you know you can sit seat like four people in. Um, I, Bell, you know, the helicopter manufacturer Bell, they are go and look at the. They had like the Uber. It was like the Uber drone, like some kind of like drone automated drone for uber at this the consumer electronics show that was that i can get behind but i guarantee you like one of those things that's going to cost 
$2 million. Your Uber ride would have to be redonkulously expensive. And it only, supposedly, it only has a range of like 150 miles. So I don't know if it was battery powered or what exactly it was, but that ain't, that's not really, you know, that great a range. Whoa, what's going on here? Back up. There we go. So he's there, he's there. Okay, we're gonna need to drive up to the store. Because we gotta get some seed, we gotta get some fertilizer. And I'll probably just take the small the small seeder up there too, just to get him working on it. Just so we can speed up the seeding process. Mark McBen McBenj, I'm hoping I'm saying that right, uh, says, uh, your videos are great. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Just looking for a cheap graphics card to play Fortnite. Well, you can play Fortnite on just about anything. That is not graphically intense. I think that's one of the reasons why Fortnite's so popular is because it has a very simple graphics engine. And, you know, it. it's just not... People are like, oh, the graphics are so good. No, they are... In the grand scheme of things, there's really nothing super exciting going on with Fortnite graphics. I can guarantee you of that. Taylor Wentworth. Hey, Taylor, how you been doing? Uh, John C. Pepper says, my internet is weak tonight. Oh, mine is weak tonight, too. See, I'm, like, buffering again every once in a while. Are you, is, it, is there anybody out there who's not buffering? Hopefully you're not. It's Gavs. Hello. I got a feeling these automated cars are going to cause a lot of problems. Actually, I don't think so. Um, I think most of the... the the unforeseen problems are going to be caused by, um, like, the automated cars versus people driving them. And I think the the human drivers are actually going to be the ones to cause the majority of those problems. I don't think it's going to be the automated cars. And I'm not saying they're going to, you know, they're perfect. I mean, I mean, look at the Tesla. Tesla's car, Tesla is doing you know, huge amounts of research um, into autonomous driving. You know, they've got the autopilot on most of their, their cars now. Um, I think there was the one guy who was killed um, while using autopilot, but he wasn't using it correctly. And um, he, I don't think he had put his hands back on the car, or back on the wheel when the I don't know. I'd have to go back and read the story about it. I want to say that it said that he hadn't put his hands back on the wheel when it when the car told him to, but I could be wrong about that, so I don't know. Unfold. There we go. I would, you know, if, if I had like a gazillion dollars of YouTube money, I would absolutely love to go and buy a Tesla. So we're gonna have to go around the field. So I'm gonna kind of do a headland on this field, um, just to get just to get her done. Vikings fan, hello. He was sleeping. Elon fixed that. I don't think he was. I don't know. I, again, I, I don't know. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say something because I don't know it. I, I read the article, but you know, it's like you read so many different things, and you're like, am I mixing this article up with that one? And I think you're right. I think he might have dozed off, but I should just shut up about it because I, I don't know. I'm not looking at it right now. We need a flying car that turns into a briefcase just like what they have on the Jetsons cartoon. 
Eh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Though, technically, you could have kind of like a little... Could you imagine like having a foldable drone that could fold up into a briefcase that you could take the briefcase and like strap it on like a backpack and then like the props fold out and you know but you know a, a human body you know let's say i don't know i'm a little bit old i'm 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 a tall guy i'm like six foot four and i'm a little bit over 200 pounds and That's a lot of meat for a drone to, you know, something the size that can fit into a, you know, a, a suitcase or a back, you know, a backpack or whatever. That's that's a lot of weight for something like that to pick up. So I just, I don't know if that, I don't know if I see that happening or not. Maybe someday, but the kit car is not far off these days. Oh, I know. All, all they need is. AI that won't destroy the world, and we might be there. Um, you think having driver assisting cars, but not fully autonomous. Um, yeah, I could see that. I mean, even aircraft, you know, it's way safer to have a computer fly an aircraft than it is a human, but I wouldn't necessarily want, I wouldn't necessarily want there to just be a computer and no pilots on board. I would still want two pilots on there. Because, especially on like long, like, Transcon you know, international flights, transcontinental flights, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, they can get those those kind of flights. You can really get super bored on, and so yeah, you definitely need a flight crew of some sort. But I mean, they've got planes right now that can land. Matter of fact, I think you know this has been fifteen, probably fifteen years ago. The, before the or, well maybe after well no it was probably about 15 years ago the triple seven um could autonomously land if it absolutely had to not at all airports but at certain airports um it could you know land completely by itself um using the autopilot if it if it actually you know absolutely had to and i'm sure there's probably more planes that that can do that today. Oh. I forgot I moved the sprayer. So where is our other, okay, the other cedar's up there. So we want to shut that down. Let's go and bring him. Why does this always cut off over here? Every time we just have this little piece right here that always just doesn't want to see. It probably has something to do with the drop-off there. I don't know. Uh-oh. I forgot to check to see if we need to lime anything. Uh-oh. I'm like flapping the, the cedar here.
Okay. So, let's see. Can I drive? I can't drive. Swiftify. <laughs> See, like, the whoa! You think I should fill, fill the horse seater? It was getting kind of low, but I don't know that. Cedar seats go a lot, you know, quite a long ways. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be fine on field 19. I just want to take this guy up. We're going to drop off all of this. All of these soybeans up here in the uh, the train silo here. All right, let's see how our oh. So we've lost quite a lot of money there. Let's see. So we've got 89,000. We've got a good chunk of, uh, so there's 30,000 there. Wow, that's all the soy soybeans we got, okay. So if I go to the homes, we could get third, uh, 60,000 out of that. And then where is this? At the ranch. And that's really the best price that we're gonna get for canola. So I guess let's go, we'll go down, we'll get the other or we'll get, you know, we'll pick up the canola. And we will bring it back up and hope for the best, I guess. All right, let's go down this way. We could, we could ramp down there if we wanted to. Oh, we're going so fast. It's probably not good to go this fast on a big cliff like this. Acorn, hey, how's it going, Acorn? Concentrating on driving with extreme precision. All right. So we're doing canola, right? Wow. After all that, we only have 20, not even 20,000 oats. Let's see how much the horses have. 31,000 oats. All right. Oh gosh. Well, boy, did I mess this up. No, you stay put. <laughs> oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this guy. What the heck? Go. There we go. Um, if you stream tomorrow, Brad, will the stream be back to normal? Um, I hope it will be. As long as I don't get explosive diarrhea again, you know. Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> whatever I, 
What I, it, as long as I don't get the Ebola virus again, I yeah, I hope hopefully it will be. And as far as like, you know, the stuttering and all that stuff, I mean, I don't really have any control over that. You know, if, it just kind of depends on, you know, the internet and what's going on. And I, you know, hopefully it'll be better tomorrow without any problems. But um, you never know. You know, you just can't predict those kind of things. 89 Ruthwalk. Oh, Ruthwalk, welcome. Uh, do you think cattle and crops will be a real contender by the time FS21 comes out? Um, no, I don't think it will be. As a matter of fact, um, I haven't even touched cattle and crops in pro probably since last summer. I did play it a little bit. It's just, I don't know. I just don't really like it. It's a very, it's a very, very different game than Farming Simulator. Some say it's more realistic. I mean, it's not a bad game, but, you know, it's not... I don't know. I, I honestly... I, I kind of regret backing it at the level that I did, because I backed it at a fairly high level. And... I was honestly expecting them to be much further along in development by the, by now. Uh, Cancer Man says, really like your channel. Well, thank you mu very much, Cancer Man. I appreciate it. Music Monster. See how I changed my voice to be more like a monster in the hopes that another monster would understand? Because this is how monsters talk, and he might understand me better if I talked like this all the time. No, I don't know. Okay, that was that was the dumbest joke ever. <laughs> uh, let's see here. But I don't know. I'd have to get. I don't know if I still have cattle. And, I'm pretty sure I have cattle and crops installed. I'll have to check. While, I'm, while, while I am offloading, I'll alt-tab to my desktop and see if the cattle and crops icon is still there. I don't, I don't think I uninstalled it. I don't know. I might have. Ugh. I am just glad, not only am I glad to be back live streaming, I am just glad that my stomach didn't feel like, you know, there were acid worms inside my intestines. It, uh, I haven't been in that much pain since I had a kidney stone like years and years ago. And I tell you what, that does suck. All right, bam. Ooh, alt tab. Cattle and crops, cattle and crops. Do I still have it installed? Oh, yeah, I do. Maybe maybe someday I will give it a try, but... Ooh, wait a second. Ooh, I'm, I still am getting frame drops, but not 12% here, 13%, 15%. We're not getting like the 40 to 60% frame drops like we were, so... There's, there's something going on with the internet. I just don't know what it is. Uh, what's my favorite map in FS19 so far? I Well, I've definitely been playing a lot more of the American map. Maybe because I'm American. But I, I like both of the maps. I really like the European map as well. Um, you know, so I, I really like both of them. Whoa, I felt like my frame rate was taking a dump. Why are we only at like 60 frames a second? Oh, we're, oh, we're up to $173,000. I was totally not even paying attention.
Um, let's see. All right, helper I. Who the heck is helper I? Oh, down here, probably. Yep. Okay. Oh, we got that little spot up there we got to do, don't we? All right, so we'll go and do that. Yeah, so I do plan on live streaming tomorrow night. So if you guys are here, um, you know, plan for that tomorrow. Tuesday night... I hope to be live streaming, um, though it might be later than, you know, I might start a little bit later. Um, and then let's see here. Let's see what's going on up here. Okay, so he is so, oh man, we got to put, all right. Wait, are all the lime trailers down here? Base tracker. Did y'all get any snow over your way? Um, yeah, we, we only got, well, let's see. I guess Friday night into Saturday morning, we got, really we only got about two inches and then about an inch of that melted off. And then last night we got maybe four inches, but the, the it was so warm, you know, it was like in the upper, you know, the high 20s and low 30s, especially this afternoon, it was up to like, I don't know, 35, 36 degrees. Um, a lot of the snow's already melted off. Well, maybe like, I don't know, half the snow. Because I went out earlier, and we probably only had like three inches of snow left. But you could tell it was like really wet. And so it was melting, and you know, you could hear water dripping everywhere. And so, um, yeah, as far as that goes, yeah, we're... <gasps> oh, we had four... Oh, that's right, we got more canola in here. I totally forget my way. All right, where is the other? Okay, so it's up in there. All right. Here's a... No. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. So this will be like the first time that we're really going to be using our line station up here. This is gonna be huge. It's gonna be huge. Why is my frame rate so freaking terrible tonight? That's frame lock right there. That's not okay, so it's up in the 70s, 80s, and 60s, but I think like a you know, a month or so ago or whenever that was when I went and like jacked up a bunch of settings. I think I jacked up a bunch of settings that I didn't really need to jack up, and now my frame rate is paying for it. <laughs> Cause I tell you what, I can't I have not noticed a, you know, a bit of difference. Um, all right. Oh, we need to keep selling canola. C -c -c canola. Uh, 
Uh, let's see, I, I thought, let's see, oh, I thought you gave up trying to stream tonight. Um, no, you, come on, Kevin, I don't give up. I'm a, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Wait, that was Michael Jackson. I'm a, I'm a fighter. I'm, like, fighting to get my, um, my, my streams. We only have 40 likes. Come on, guys. We can do better than that. Come on. Smack that like button, guys. Let's get it. Let's get her done. What's that stuff you spraying that's white? It's pure cocaine. Wait. Um, no, it's uh, lime. It's to uh, reduce the acidity of the soil. So that's what it is. Now I think what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go down, I'm going to take the uh, rest of the canola off of the, the combine. We're going to take that, we're going to get whatever's left down at the lower farm and we're going to come back up and fill whatever we can off of the... Um, the silo down there. pH balanced for a woman. Yeah, I'm, I, I occasionally see some frames drop out on the live stream tonight, but at least we're not getting like huge... Well, here now I just say we're not getting any buffering and now it starts buffering. Yeah, it is buffering a bit. Okay. This is weird. I'm getting better stream quality on my laptop than my desktop. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. Um, aha. Done seeding. Awesome. Okay. So let's see. Yeah, there's only 13,000 down there. 29th. Okay, we're good to go. So we're laying the lime down. We're going to have to put lime down over here as well. And actually, we can easily do that with this guy. Oh, shoot. Did I take the other. There. I think I took the other... Uh, what is it? The other... Um, fertilizer spreader out here, didn't I? I think I did that earlier. Dueling cedars. Let's see, where do I get the lime? You get it from the lime station. Um, give me just a second and I'll show you. There is a lime station mod where you can, you know, place lime stations wherever you want on the map, which I highly recommend because uh, the the lime uh, the lime spreader, well, the fer basically you just buy the fertilizer spreaders, uh, you know, the either the smaller or larger brew doll. Um, this one up here, I think, is the smaller brew doll. But there's a lime station right there that I that's from the mod that I popped down. But if you go to the, um, see now I've got the lime station there. But uh, by default, there's a lime on the, this is the American map. By default, there's a lime station down here at the Port Green Elevator and another one up at the biogas plant right there in the center. So um, if you don't have the mod or if you don't want to get the mod, then um, that's where you would fill them up. And you just have a, you know, one of these, uh, 
fertilizer spreaders here. And you just fill her up with lime. And so, yeah, if you go into fertilizing technology, the little Redal trailer there, if you open that up, um, these are the two that do lime. You can see right here they do fertilizer and they do lime, um, whereas the Kunaxis only does fert and the uh, the Cavernland Exacta, which is another mod, though it's an official mod, it also does not do um, lime. And then you just fold out the back end. Usually you would spread, you know, spread the lime before seeding, but it doesn't matter. You can do it before or after. It's just if you do it after seeding, your fields will be all all white. And until you uh, do the fertilizing. All right, so I'm gonna hire the worker there. Um, what what the What is this guy doing? I'm not controlling anything here, guys. I don't know what the heck he's thinking. Um, all right. I know what I'm thinking. Helper J has completed this task, I think. Okay, so that was that cedar that was going crazy. <clears throat> don't forget, guys, if you are new to the channel or if you're old to the channel you're, you might be seeing uh, some of the some people in the chat room now uh, with green names and special icons next to their name um, that those people are um, members there you, you can actually become a sponsor which makes you a member of the uh, channel you can do it through gaming.youtube.com or you can hit the little dollar sign logo uh, below, right below the chat, like right where you type uh, the chat in, and at least on PC. If you're on a mobile device, it might be different. And uh, but you can become a a, a channel sponsor for four dollars and ninety nine cents a month. And um, I'm gonna try to do a push. I'd like to get up to uh, fifty members. And once we hit fifty members, I am gonna do a, a game giveaway. We're gonna do like a big. I don't know what the game is yet, but it's going to be, it's not going to be like some little, you know, $5 game. We're going to do like a, a really good game. Um, and I can even have you guys vote on it, which would be awesome. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out if there's a way that I can tie members into the Discord so that there might be like a members only Discord um, on my uh, my fan discord for you guys that that'd be another way to say thank you but um, I want to do something special for you guys and um, I think doing some game giveaways would be awesome so if you guys want to contribute again it's $4.99 a month um, it is month to month you can cancel at any time um, but yeah that's kind of a good idea I think is a way to kind of say thank you to you guys. Uh, so you have to add a front loader attachment on the tractor. Oh, let's see. Helper J was taking right on your dock. I don't know what he was doing. The icons on members change over time, showing how long they've been a member for. You can also upload your own icon. Yes, you're correct. Um, let me look here on... Let's see if I can look really quick. It's pretty cool. Like, I mean, even like the default, the default um, logos are not bad, to be honest with you. They're probably better than anything I could come up with. Like, like if you've, for new members, it could be like a, like a green, freshly pooped turd with like, like stinker, like stink waves and, and like flies around it. And then like, you know, after, I don't know, like after a while it would turn into like one of those white turds that, you know, sits on the ground in the grass for like a month out in the sun on a hot day. <laughs> and then after a while, it I don't know, it turns back into the, like a brown one. No, I don't, I don't, I don't think I could, I don't think I could do that to you guys as funny as it would be. Then it would turn into like a bronze turd. No, that's so terrible. Um, let me look here. 
because I am still trying. You know, I, I was telling myself, I'm going to look into this. And then, like, the very next day, I'm, like, deathly sick. Vito McAwesome just subscribed. Thank you so much, Vito. Um, let's see if I can pull this up here. Creator Studio. Is it under Community? Community Subscribers. No, nope, that's Subscribers, not... Oh, channel memberships. Here we go. Um, loyalty badges. And, okay, so when you're new. Ah! It just changed. They keep changing. Daggone it. Go back. Because it was. Okay, so when you're new, it's like green. And then if you're here for like a month, it kind of turns like a turquoise color. Where's the rest of them? Where's all the badges? Channel memberships. There we go. Maybe. Maybe this is the same. No, that's the same. Ooh, promote memberships. Learn about. Ba -ba. Learn more about channel members. Okay, that's where I just was. <laughs> Oh, let's see, set. Oh, now that's let's see, best practices. Upload additional custom emoji. Oh, as they are unlocked. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Upload a custom badge to recognize. Well, you guys already have custom. Yeah, and then gold is to. I, it lets me see him for like half a second, and it goes into some stupid video. Wait, what if I click upload? What happens? Oh, that's just like a unique channel badge. Um, custom, custom perks. Come on, move. I'm trying to do like two things at once here. Uh, just, uh, I just have, I'm going to have to go through this and like learn all about it. Upload my first, I, I don't know. That's weird. The custom emoji is like the same for every, everybody though. Unless, I don't know. I should not do this while I'm <laughs> trying to play Farming Simulator. Oh no, help, okay, so helper G, tank, empty. Let's get across the railroad tracks, meow. Pull off to the side of the road safely so that if somebody else wants to, you know. Aha, no, oh. He went off the side of the mountain. Come on. Oh, he got stuck. That's why. He's not going anywhere. Um, well, I know how to fix that easily enough. Ah! What happened to my... Oh, there we go. Two years in... Re it's like... It goes like... It's like a month. Like, there's like... You know, new, and then if you've been here for a month, it turns into like turquoise. And then I think there's like a two month and a three month. And then, it, it, like I said, it goes by so darn fast that you can't really see what the heck it is. Dang it, YouTube, slow down. You're going too fast. Uh, let me see if I can look. Oh, nope, there it is. Yeah, okay, one month, two months, six months, one year, and two years. Man, I can't believe anybody would actually want to stick around here for two years. But that would be awesome if they did. <laughs> uh, let's see. Custom badges. Oh. I don't want to use somebody else's. I'm either going to use the default ones or I'm going to try to... I don't know. I don't know anybody that's got any graphical art. I'm, like, really good with photography and, like, doing photo editing. But it, when it comes to, like graphic design of things like this, I am not so good. That's what the means. It means I'm not very good. <laughs> Alright, can I go around this guy? Okay. 
see. Look at how the the only downside is that these things do burn through lime really quick. The good side is lime's really not that expensive. So um, the worst part about it is having to drive to the lime stations to constantly update your lime. And, or not up, update. I'm like reading this thing and it's like update um, to constantly refill your lime. Your, <laughs> refill the lime. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's see. Just got home from the movie A Dog's Way. I heard that was really good. I think my mom went to see that. I think she took, I think she took my like my stepsister's um, two kids with her to see that. I think they did. Let's see, you have to customize the tractor. So an attachment. Driving and checking channel stats should be illegal. I know, I know, but leave it to me, you know, because I'm a pro at you know doing the two things. You know, texting and driving, no problem. <laughs> All right, what I'm going to do since I'm up here is we're going to go and we're going to fill up the lime at my custom lime station up here, which is a mod. It is in the mod hub in game. Just go to the main menu and you too can own your own placeable lime station. You can put them wherever you want. You can put five of them in a row if you really want. C Pain, thank you so much for the super chat. Let's see, how do I design my badges? Some creators hire a designer and some de design their badges themselves. It's up to you. Oh, great. Well, drag on it. <laughs> but thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate it. Oh, this thing is still going. All right. We're okay. Oh, this guy. Oh, yeah, he's out. Oh, he's probably been out. This is probably the one that's been out for like 20 minutes. You guys have been like, Brad, why don't you go to the other one? And, and I'm like not even paying attention. It's all my fault. I know. It's my fault. Totally my fault. Lime. Uh, I'll have to think about like what, like what kind, like what I would want my different badges to be. <laughs> the poops would be so funny though. If you've been here for the longest, you get a golden poop snake. Maybe like a little tiny poop snake guy. I don't know. Yeah, you have to make them so tiny though, and they have you kind of have to like. You have to be able to understand what they are when they're that small. You know, otherwise people aren't going to get it. They're going to be like, what is that little gold looking thing on your next to your name? And they're like, not going to have a clue. But I don't know. Sean Myatt, hello. How are you doing tonight? Uh, let's see, who else did I miss? I'm just kind of looking through. Two years is red, yes. I would, you know... I don't know why it'd be red. Like the three months is gold, I think. Let me look here. Um, yeah, three months is like gold. And then there's like these other, there's some other ones. Let me see here. Loyalty badges. So you can upload them. Wait, if I go back. So we got five members. We need 45 more members. Yeah, if I, if I click on upload, it doesn't allow me to, like... That's weird. It's just, like, upload them. Where the heck do I set the loyalty badges, though? Custom perks... And then there's like a custom emoji. I 
Oh, that's just like a custom emoji that I make that I can make myself that in, any of the subscribers can use, but nobody else can use. And I could have like a I could have several of them apparently. Actually, it doesn't say it does. <laughs> apparently, there's not a limit. I could have a million custom emojis. I could have like a little butt that farts. That would be awesome. No, I don't think you could animate them. <laughs> that would be terrible. What am I What am I saying, Brad? That would just be horrible. <laughs> God. Um. Let's see. How long? Bah. How long ago did I enable the membership option? Oh gosh, like a year ago, something like that. It's been a long time ago. But I do, I do know for a long time. See what happened was originally the membership, the ch channel memberships. I still think aren't available to all YouTubers. I don't think like everybody can get them. Um, like. I don't know what the criteria is, but I even if you like live stream all the time, I think you know you have to meet like certain thresholds because it's not like you can just turn it on. Or I don't know, maybe you can now. Maybe I'm wrong, but when I did it, um, it there was base like I I essentially had to it, turn it on on my channel, and then I had to there's like something that I had to click. It was like apply for the beta because it was like a beta program. So I don't know. I thought it was still in beta, but once you get accepted, it doesn't look like it's in beta anymore. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. You know how YouTube is. Or I don't know. Maybe you don't. I think the uh, people that have been doing YouTube long enough eventually are like, oh, God, it's you know, this is how YouTube does things. And we're just along for the ride. I mean, we just kind of have to take it or leave it. That's basically the way it is. And, and just be thankful that we have this opportunity to, you know, be able to share our, our lives and what we like to do with you guys. And, you know, I guess, you know, if, you, if it wasn't for YouTube, you know, we'd have Twitch or... <gasps> gotta go back. We gotta go back. There we go. All right, so... <clears throat> this isn't really the the most ideal tracker for doing this. It is a little bit underpowered, but we're making it work. Okay. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to go up to the uh, end of the field here, and we're going to go right down this way. But yeah, I would say it's been probably a good year since I, you know, tried to enable it. Um, and for the longest time, it was only available on gaming.youtube.com. So, for example, if you um, were, you know, if you watched my live streams on the YouTube on the YouTube gaming platform, then you would see it all the time. But if you didn't, if you were just like in the regular channel live stream yeah you would never see it um who is black body come on now what you gonna be like that do oh, crashing into me crash into me all right so we can take this guy back up to the the farm up here. I used to watch a streamer on Twitch for Massively TV. What's Massively TV? Or that's the streamer, you mean. Discord's not sending my password after, after I disabled it because all the servers banned me for stupid reasons. Well, the servers don't ban you. There's people that ban you. <laughs> So they must have had reasons. 
I bet you were being bad, Sid, right? <laughs> oh, let's see here. <laughs> Unknown Gaming, hello. Sorry I missed your, uh, your high there. Hopefully you're still there. Probably going to want to do maintenance on the cedar. Spray, spray, spray. I wish... I was really hoping that they were going to improve um, the, you know, the sprayers, but I guess they're not. Well, actually, this is looking like a, looking in pretty good shape, to be honest with you. I don't see too much wear on it, so... I see a lot more wear on the header here. We still need to clean it off and spray it off a little bit more. Oh, let's see. All right, so he's going to be done soon. He's going to be done in a second. Let's jump in this dude. Let's take him up to the farm store where we'll refill his seed and fertilizer. Massively was an online magazine for MMO style games. They closed down when they were bought out by many of the writers from their own online magazine now called Massively Overpowered. Oh, that's pretty cool. Gosh, I'm trying to think. I think the last MMO I played was um, Lord of the Rings Online. Like, truly MMO. Like, when I think of, like, an MMO, I think of, like, an RPG of some sort. Like, and I know Star Citizen is going to be kind of an MMO, but I don't, for whatever reason, or even, like, Elite Dangerous. I guess Elite Dangerous is an MMO, isn't it? But they don't feel like MMOs to me. Especially Elite Dangerous, or Star Citizen. It just doesn't have an MMO feel to it. Maybe because there's, like, pe not people running around everywhere with, like, little names above their heads and shields and, like, health tickers or something. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, oh, it just Star Citizen just blows me the freak away. That game is so amazing. I'm, I'm actually, the last couple days, I've had access to the, the, the PTU, the new Persistent Test Universe, and, you know, a lot of the bugs, like the ladder kill bug, I haven't been ladder killed. I've been trying to test it. Um, so that's been good. Okay, so we're... I think I need two bags of... Do I need one or two bags? Maybe it's just one. No, it's just one. Okay. Um, so, yeah, everything's been great on the new PTU patch. And um, hopefully if they get everything... In the in the 3.4 PTU patched up, my hope is that we'll see you know version 3.5 sooner. Because from what I understand, they've already got like 122 out of 144 tax tasks. Sorry, complete for the new Star Citizen flight model, which just is absolutely going to be amazing. It's going to it's. It's going to change the way the ships fly quite dramatically, which I think is going to... I think, it, in a way, it's going to piss people off. I'm probably going to be like, this totally sucks. But then, like, once I get used to it, I'm going to be like, oh, my God, this is so much better than before. I would play the streams with the one rider on EverQuest 2. Gosh, EverQuest... I never did play EverQuest 2. I always wanted to, but I kind of there for a while... When ever you know, probably even before EverQuest 2 came out, I was really out of gaming. Like there were probably a couple games that I would play here and there, but by and large I was I kinda went through a period of, you know, several years where I was really out of gaming. And then um I was I'm a like I'm a founder for uh Lord of the Rings Online. I was like one of the original $200 members, and I actually still have my, well, I guess I still have my membership. I don't know. I haven't logged into that game in probably five or six years. I probably lost all my stuff. My house, and all the stuff that was in my house, and who knows what else. But, um... 
But yeah, they just Lord of the Rings Online. Once it went to free play, it just went. It went so far downhill. I just didn't. I didn't enjoy playing it anymore. And um, so I, I quit playing that. And that was really the last, you know, major MMO I think I ever played was was EverQuest. Or at least the way, you know, like I said, the way I kind of internally classify MMOs. Ah! I want to customize it. I want to repair it. Not that you can customize it. Um, Sid's been anti-Discord for a year. <laughs> I, I like, you know, I, there's, there's certain things that I can still see myself using TeamSpeak for on occasion, but I've primarily moved away from using TeamSpeak and just using Discord now. When do you record your next Back to the Future car build? I'm new. I just subscribed at the end of December. Um, I've actually got several episodes um, in the in the work queue right now. I think I have up to issue 60. I think I did issue 68 earlier today. And I'll probably do issue 69 and issue 70, you know, maybe like Monday or Tuesday. And then I'll just release them throughout the course of the week. Um, I just uploaded another episode because I posted an episode. Let me look here. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. Give me just a second. I'll bring it up while I'm washing off my cedar here. <laughs> um, yeah, issue 64 is uploaded. So I will have that. I'll probably have that posted. Um... I'll probably do it after the stream tonight. And if I forget, I will definitely have it posted tomorrow for sure. Um, and then I'm gonna have to uh, edit issue. I might work on editing issue 65 tonight. I might do some, you know, I might do some playing on Star Citizen tonight. And while I'm doing that, like while I'm in Quantum Drive or something, I'll probably uh, do the uh, editing on on the um, what am I trying to say here oh on issue 65 because sometimes they're real you know like sometimes the because I don't really I don't cut them up or anything like that I like to do everything like right on camera and so wait did I didn't I buy another Didn't I buy another weeder? Because there's one here. Wait, let me look and see how many I have. I thought I have three of them. Yeah, there's three of them. Okay. Where are the other two? There's not one here. Okay, so I think we're all done. I'm going to line the other end of the field. Okay, there's one over there by the road. I see it from here. And I can take that back to the main farm. Yeah, I see it way over there behind the tree. Where the heck is the other one? I don't know where it is. Uh, how many issues are there? There are going to be 130 issues of the um, Back to the Future build. And if you haven't ordered already, um, order your uh, Chloe and Corey. I don't know if I put their... Um, I don't know if I put their contact information in my email or in my video yet. Whenever I do... Whenever the mods come... And I get those um, emails from them. I'm definitely going to be. I'll definitely put their contact information in my videos. 
But um, if you're looking for the the flux capacitor that comes with the DeLorean build, it sucks so bad. It is just absolutely terrible. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm actually shocked that you know that they made it so poorly. Um, the Christmas tree actually ended up turning out a lot better than I had expected. Um, but the, the modded one that, um, oh, what's her name? Cl uh, Chloe, I can't remember her last name. She makes the, the Christmas tree, custom Christmas tree. And it, it doesn't actually look like a Christmas tree. That's just what they call it. It's just like this little light bank. <clears throat> But it looks like the real one in the movie. It's like, but it's like, you know, an inch and a half taller or however big it is. At, her work is absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to to get it. Um, oh, shoot. No. Where is the other? Oh, there it is. It's over. Okay, so it's on that tractor. All right. Now if I can. Oh, yeah, there it was. <laughs> Um, wait there. All right, so what I'm going to do now, we're just going to pick up the rest of the canola. I'm just going to sell it just to get rid of it. <clears throat> and we will head, let's see. And then I think I kind of want to pay my loan back, even though it's not a huge deal right now. I could either, you know, I can do one of two things. Pay my loan back, which only cost me like $3,000 a day or something, minuscule, not much. Or, or, I could not pay it back and buy more stuff. <laughs> but yeah, 130 issues. It's about, it's pretty much a two and a half year build the DeLorean. So it's like you're in it for the long haul. It's not something that it's going to be um, like short. But I really enjoy doing those kind of builds. Um, I really hope that, that the kit from Knight Rider comes out. It, when I say kit, I literally mean like K-I-T-T. -T. Hello, I am the voice of the Knight Industries 2000 microprocessor. K-I-T... Or no, what is it? Um... I can't remember. That's I, that's like the worst Kit impression. I'm I'm sure um, Kit is like spinning its tires, being mad at me. But um, no, they actually released uh, four issues in France, I think, which was a, a test run for Kit from Knight Rider, which which will be the exact same size as the uh the back to the future delorean and i tell you what if they come out with that 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 parts work i am there because i kit is my, still my favorite car of all time this is absolutely awesome have you ever tried the Cree 2 i don't have it but i like car games um <clears throat> i think i i think i did the original crew but i don't think i ever did or no no i I don't think I did either one. I think I did the demo for the first crew game. It's a deeper British voice. Yeah, it's like um, it's not even British. They call, it's like a very specific. It's a Bostonian accent, and I think the accent is called transatlantic. And it apparently it was kind of like a wealthy snooty. American Bostonian accent, but it it arose from people who tr like traveled to like to the UK probably because it's it's kind of a mix between a Bostonian accent and a like a British accent, but it's not really a British accent. It's it's really a very unique accent that nobody has anymore um because it basically went the way of the dodo bird if you know what a dodo bird is um let's see if i know what a dodo bird is and let's uh speed up time 
What time is it? Oh, man, we're getting close to midnight. Man, I'm getting hungry again. What's up with me? The General Lee would wipe the floor with Kit. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> like, like if, if Kit, Knight Rider Kit, was a real car... And obviously, the the General Lee, the Dukes of Hazard car, is is a real car. Um, <clears throat> but capability for capability, yeah, the the Dukes of Hazard car wouldn't stand a chance. I guess it wouldn't stand a snowball's chance, if you know what I mean. Because it's faster, it can jump without a ramp, it's bulletproof, um, it can talk, um, it's got radar and scanning stuff, um, it's got ejector seats, uh, smoke screen, oil slick, it's got a, the only thing that Kit didn't, Kit had the big laser beam. When it was, remember when they were trying to, like, there was Kit and there was Car, and Car was basically like the it, Car actually was a predecessor to Kit, but it was like it was kind of like Data and Lore from Star Trek: The Next Generation. Like Lore came first, but it was like the evil, you know, it turned evil, so they had to like deactivate it. Well, Car was the same way. It was like, you know, the it was like the prototype for Kit, but it turned evil, so they had to de deactivate it, but somehow it became activated again. And so, um, they put, Bonnie put this laser into Kit to shoot at Car, and that was, like, really the only offensive, um, weapon it ever had. Kit was a concept car of the Firebird. No, Kit was, no, it, it was completely designed by the, the showrunners, but um, Glenn Larson basically went to, they went to Pontiac, they went to Ford, um, they went to several car companies and they're like, you know, what are your, you know, your best looking cars? And they took the concept um, for the, the, the Trans Am, it was the 1982 Trans Am. And they took that um, concept car at the time, and they were like, okay, we want to use this for the show. But, um, whoops. Premium chicken feed, huh? You know what? Did I, I don't think I ever fed my chickens. Or did we even buy chickens yet? I don't even know if I bought them. But yeah, the, like Kit is a 1982 Trans Am. Those are the ones that they used. Um, they got the first four, I think they got the first four off the production, or the assembly line. Because Kit actually was on TV before they actually had the cars in shops. And people were actually calling Pontiac wanting, like, you know, they were wanting, like, the Knight Rider front end, and they were wanting the... Um, because if you know, like, if you actually want, go back and you watch, like, some of the really early episodes of Knight Rider, um, they actually call it a Trans Am. And then Pontiac got pissed, and they're like, don't call, our, don't call it a Trans Am anymore. Because, like, everybody wanted that version of the car. Heck, I wanted that version of the car when I was a kid. And even to this day, the 1982 Trans Am is, like, one. it is such a nice-looking car. They just don't make cars like that anymore. But <clears throat> it is a Firebird Trans Am body. Well, it's a, yeah, it's a Trans Am is a Trans Am. <clears throat> but yeah, still one of my favorite cars of all times is the 1982. <clears throat> Trans Am. Ah, excuse me. I have to take a drink of water. <gasps> oh no! The speed! The speed! Oh no, am I gonna be able to use the. Uh oh. Let's see here. Ah. 
I gotta get my water out because I'm gonna I'm gonna like lose my voice here in a second. I'm just hold on, guys. I'm just hitting puberty. It's not that big of a deal. Nineteen seventy Monte Carlo. I have to I have to look at that because I'm I can't think of what that is off the top of my head. They had it before it was available to the public. Yeah, but it was only like two months because if you think about it, that year, I think they had it on television at like towards the end of September, which was, I'd have to go back and look and see when the, the first episode actually ran. I'm pretty sure it was towards the end of September. You could probably find out pretty easily by Googling it. Um, but... <clears throat> The, the car was was released, like, a month and a half later. So it wasn't like, you know, they had it for, like, two years or something like that. Um, it, it was literally, it was right at the end of 1981, I think. Dang it, now i got to go and look it up. You guys, uh, when did the first episode of Knight Rider air? Whoops. Air. There we go. Um, oh, September 26, 1982. So it was a 1982, and um, yeah, it came out like, well, let's see. Well, now I got to look up when did the first episode, or no, when did the first 1982 Trans Am come, I'll just say come out. Uh, no, 1987. 1982 Y84 Trans Am would be called the Recaro. Actually, the Recaro is like one of the best one, in my opinion, my favorite one. Go and go and look up um, 1982 Trans Am Recaro, R E C A R O, I think, and it is my favorite. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see when. If somebody can find that for me, if somebody can find out, like what the actual date that the the 1982 Trans Am hit the like the showroom you know hit the dealers and was available for sale cuz i want to say it was like at the end of 1982 but i don't know it might have been it might have been before that but that but that would be weird because if it was at the end of 1982, and it was a 1982 model, because usually the model years come out before the end of the year of the previous year. So, like, you know, like now, you know, a 2019 model is going to come out, like, October, November of, 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 of 28. You know, wait, a 2019 model is going to be, is, is going to come out, like in November, like October, November of 2018, and so on and so forth. So Mike Rick, uh, Reichard says September of 1981. Well, that would have been a full year. My my disliker is late. Uh, did somebody dislike? Finally, no, we still don't have any dislikes. Awesome. But we still only have 49 likes, and we have what? How many people? 69. 69 people watching. <laughs> Ugh, I know, don't, never mind, don't even listen to me. All right, we got to take this up to the top. Oh. Cool guy 291, you subbed and liked. Um, you did sub. Why didn't I get the notification for it? 
Maybe I did and I missed it, because you are up there as my most recent follower on the screen. Thank you so much, cool guy 291. <clears throat> I like, you know, um, Porterhouse, I like the Trans Am up until they started doing, I like the hard lines of the early, like the, the 82. I even like the old Burt Reynolds Trans Am. But boy, when the new one, when the 82 model came out, oh, I was absolutely in love with that car. Not only because of Knight Rider, it's just I freaking loved the car. And of course, like every time I saw a black one coming down the road, I'm like, oh my God, it's Kit. Oh no, it's not Kit. It's just a black, it's just a black Trans Am. Um, but oh, if I ever, you know, if I could ever find a Recaro, matter of fact, I actually got a beat on a Recaro right now. It's not in perfect condition, but it's in pretty darn good condition. And the only thing I that the only thing I don't like about it is that it's a five-speed manual, and I can drive a manual. That's not a problem. Um, but I really looking. I really like the the old automatics. I don't know why. Don't don't ask. I guess it doesn't really matter for the Recaro. I could do a five-speed manual. That's no big deal. Boy, it's been a long time since I've driven a manual, though. Because, so yeah, the last car that I owned that was a manual was my Mustang. And I haven't had that car since 1996. But I could, I'm could, i sure you know, it wouldn't take me long to remember. 1981 is the year I got to. Huh, interesting. Let's see. Um... Because I found it. See, it's safe to say. Hmm. Let's see here. Yeah, Pontiac third generation, 1982. Was it just a, was it the Firebird? Because there was the Firebird, because that's what it is. And then there's the Firebird Trans Am. Which is the the car that Kit was based off of? Anyway, I'm tabbing in and out and all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's get back to playing some farming sim because I would like to at least get some of this weeding done before we call it a knight. Ooh, a knight, right? Get it, knight? Never mind. Uh. <laughs> all right, so the weeding there is done. All right, let's do the weeding. On the next two fields, we have to get the weeding done <clears throat> because if we don't, the crop will grow too high and we can't use the weeders on them. All right, so we got weeder, weeder, weeder. Now I need to find... This guy, okay. So we'll get this guy with, oh no, that's all right. We would have had to drag him out of the way anyway. <laughs> if you can't find it, grind it. Oh my gosh, I haven't heard that saying it since like the 90s. I found something that says a car distribution bulletin, Recaro Trans Am F. Caroline, Jan January 28th, 1982. Let's, gosh darn it, you guys. You guys are driving me crazy now. No, I'm, I'm driving myself crazy. You guys have nothing to do with it. Usually New Year models come out in the middle of the year prior, so in 82... Yeah, it depends on the manufacturer, but like back then, like the 80, 
like the 82s would come out at the end of 81 so like october november december and i'm so i'm pretty sure that's you know that should be like the correct time frame but you know pfft, it's been so long ago who remembers that kind of stuff Not this guy. All right. Hire a worker. Okay. So let's see here. Let's see. Where? All right, when was the first 1982 Firebird Trans Am sold? Um, let's see, 1982 Pontiac revived a special edition Grand Am. Okay, so that's the Recaro, which was the return of the black and gold. Oh, man, that's such a good, nice car. Uh, let's see, Firebird in 1980. <coughs> it said, yeah, it says January 28th, 1982, the Recaro Trans Am was intended to be Unlimited production model available only through zone office orders. Um, so that's the Recaro. That was like the special, kind of a special edition. And boy, I tell you what, if I could ever find a, a Recaro in good, I actually, I, was, I found a Recaro. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a Recaro. It looks, it looked like a Recaro. Um, I'm gonna actually call. I think I'm gonna call the guy on it tomorrow, just to kind of get see if I can talk him down. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever buy it, but I would absolutely. That's like my dream car right there. Uh, let's see here. It doesn't really. It doesn't even really say specifically. Yeah, I see the the dealer bullets, and that's weird. Oh, oh no! Go. Uh oh, gotta go to helper F now. Bam. hired a worker. Apparently I did not. Uh-oh. Got a problem here. I'm not going to be able to tell where the... Uh... Oh, wait. It's probably right about here. Let's try that. Yeah, it's gonna work just fine. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh gosh, it's almost midnight. What are we gonna do, you guys? Well, I'm just glad that the internet cleared up at least for a while so that I could get some work done tonight on the field and for you guys. Because I was like, you know, all day today, I was like, I can't wait to live stream tonight because I've been sick the last three days, pretty much. Saturday, um, last night wasn't so bad. I did have, I still, my stomach was still a little bit sore, but I'm, I'm telling you guys, Thursday night, I, I was seriously, seriously, and I don't consider, like, going to the hospital lightly. I was seriously contemplating calling the ambulance and being like, I need to go to the emergency room and, like, have my intestines, like, redone or whatever. Whatever you do with intestines. Ah, no! 
Boy, I was way off on that one. Yeah, my, st I don't know, you know, I, I don't know if it was something I ate. I don't know if it was just like a 24 hour stomach flu kind of thing. I just don't know what it was, but boy, it hit me. Oh, it was so bad. I've had kidney stones and it was like getting close to that level of pain. Did I have E. coli poisoning? I don't know what it was. It could have been. Um, Kevin, yes, I did call Spectrum. They did a reset on my line where they, I don't know, they do something where it, I don't know if it takes the line down. It doesn't, it didn't really, I didn't, my, my modem didn't have to retrain or anything like that. I don't know what they did. I have absolutely no idea what they did. But yeah, I did call them. They did a couple things to my line and, um, you know, I came back and tried it again and um, still didn't work. Well, no, actually when I came back after calling them, it was a lot better. I'm still losing packets and stuff. Let me let me let me tab again. Let's see here. I have 66 warnings. Um, the last one was a few seconds ago. Drop frame detected 14%. 3 minutes ago, another drop. So it's basically like every 2 to 3 minutes. Um, there's a small drop in frame rate. I, you know, I don't know what else um, causes it. Actually, wait. I don't. I can leave that there because we're gonna go out and we're gonna get the fertilizer spreader. Helper H is blocked by an op rate. Tag on it, and they worked it out. <clears throat> What the heck is he doing? All right, Let's just hire the worker now. And where was our other chatter? Where was he? Oh, there he is. Yay, tabbed right into it instantly. I didn't even mean to do that. The only thing they can do from there is reprovision. Oh, reprovision the modem. Yeah, I, you know, they would have to have, well, I don't, actually, I don't think they have to, I don't think they have to have somebody come out to do that, but that's a pretty drastic step, which wasn't really needed, so... So I don't know. I mean, it, it could have been something with YouTube for all I know, you know. Um, YouTube does occasionally have stream ingest problems. It's just, it just happens. Um, there could be internet. There can be internet uh, problems still outside of Spectrum's network, but that, you know, still would affect, excuse me, would still affect the, um, Uh, the live stream so you know it's it's hard to say it could be a you know a bunch of different things really and let's go across bay around me all give them reading them you remove Roto Rooter, yeah, Roto Rooter. I've I've hired them a few times for some plumbing issues and stuff. Uh, let's see, you know what? <laughs> he didn't really need to have those on. Oh, is he almost done? Turn the weeds back on. Actually, before he even gets started, I'm gonna just pull him over this way. All 
right, so how are we doing on the weeding up here? Doing okay, doing great on the fertilizing. Just missing a couple spots, but that's not, uh, not too terrible. And then, okay, so we'll take helper F up to field 18 as soon as he's done weeding here. Sid is cleaning his email out. <laughs> All righty, I guess. Uh, let's see, Kevin says, no, it's very simple. All it is is resend the initial late. Well, well, see, since I was in the WAN field, it's, you know, we didn't have the technology 20 years ago. Well, it's, yeah, it's been about 20 years since I was doing that kind of stuff. So, yeah, they pro it's probably a lot easier to do that now. Wait, I saw Helper A something. Helper A... Um, did something. Help her. Oh, right here. Here he is. Help her. Uh, let's enter the vehicle. Look at that. That whole field barely even touched. Help her. F. Oh, good. Okay. I am getting a brown. You know what? I made brownies uh, last night. I don't know. I, I had a box of brownies. I had some eggs left. And I'm like, by golly, I'm really in the mood for some brownies. <laughs> no kidding. And I made some brownies. I baked some brownies. Not those kind of brownies. No, I actually, I legitimately made brownies. And, uh, and they, they turned out pretty good. I thought at first I baked them for too long, but no, they, they turned out just fine. How much was a gallon of gas when I started driving? Um, about 70 cents a gallon, 79 cents a gallon, something like that. think is what it was let's see here because I literally got my driver's license on my 16th birthday. Um, let's see here. <laughs> Cost of gas the year you were born. Yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. That was that was back when Jimmy Carter. Was, no, actually, I don't think Jimmy Carter was president when I was born. I remember though Jim, when Jimmy Carter was president and gas prices. See, like, Jimmy Carter was kind of like, well, he was a Democrat, number one, but boy, he just, he was a likable person, kind of like Obama was a likable guy. Like, I don't have anything against Obama or the way he acted or anything like that, but just his ep economic policies were absolutely terrible. And now, like, you know, health insurance, is, you know, are through the roof and, you know, there's all kinds of other problems. But that, that was kind of the thing that happened back during Carter and the gas prices like we're shooting through the roof. Um, let's see here. Um, 
Let's see. You know, they do these average gas prices, and it's kind of hard to tell. But, I mean, I you know, you'd, you'd always buy the cheap stuff, you know, 90 or 87 octane or whatever it was. And, um, you know, it was like a, it was like 79 cents a gallon. Like, I, I mean, you could fill up your whole tank just, you know, by a couple friends giving you a buck or two to, you know, drive them home from school and take them to school in the morning. That that's how I pay. Like all my friends, they gave me a dollar a day, and that was so I would pick them up in the morning. Like some of them did. I only had maybe like two friends that did that. But I would. Pa I had a. I had this big van. I had like this huge van that had like it was like extended cab had the, like the dual gas tanks on it. There was like a switch. I could always like scare the heck out of my friends. I could drive to like the worst part of town and then like flip you know flip my empty tank on and then make my engine run out of gas and be like oh no what are we gonna do and um and they'd be like crying like oh we're all gonna die like just kidding and i'd flip the good tank back on and everything would be great um but um no like you know 20 bucks you know, I'm trying to remember how big those those tanks were. I think they were 22 and a half gallons each. Because I, like I said, I had two gas tanks on the van. I'm pretty sure they were 22 and a half gallons each. And like, you know, you could fill them up easy. Do you buy the most expensive gas for your car? Yes. I, and I have I I have to buy at least 92 octane. Otherwise, my um, my um, the what is it? The pistons, not the pistons, but the um, what is it? The crates knocking. <laughs> I can't remember. It's like so late, and I'm not thinking in, in of car engine parts. But yeah, it, like if I drive my Audi too much um, with cheap gas. Like if I'm doing like a long distance drive, like like for example when I drove down to Florida, I could I could get away with you like doing like low octane because the engine was hot and when your engine's hot it burns that fuel, it you know it burns off more of the impurities and it's not a huge difference but it's kind of like right in that that um that window but when i would get to my destination yeah i would go back and i would put like high octane in it again but yeah i just i i get better performance and everything with high octane so yep i do it some people are like you don't need to do that and i'm like yeah yeah you kind of do <laughs> what matter of fact um <clears throat> my mom bought a lexus a few years ago and of course it says i think that i think her car says it it's definitely it requires at least 92 but i think her car says 93 octane i can't remember it's probably 92 because i you know i don't it's not like putting 100 low lead or something into your car and um and her car was always knocking and i'm like i'm like what gas do you use and she's like i don't know whatever's cheapest i'm like you know, you have a freaking Lexus and you're putting like the crappiest gas in it. And so, you know, I, I took her out of the car. Of course, she's older. So she, you know, she might not be able to hear the knocking sound as good as I can. But, um, you know, I, I got her out of the car and I'm like, here's the sound. And so I, I made her buy a tank of like high octane. And I'm not even joking, like, within, well, we drove, I can't remember, we, we probably went up to the farm together one time, that's probably what we were doing, and by the time we got up there, there's no knocking anymore, I'm like, there you go, um, my car is supercharged, it's not a turbocharger, it's a supercharger, 
I think it's a super. Nah, yeah, it's a supercharger. Because I don't get the I don't get the turbo lag like you do with when you have turbos. And if you don't if you don't know what um, turbochargers are or superchargers, um, a turbo uses exhaust gas to spin up the basically like compre like air intake compressors. That's what a that's what a the, the turbo does is it um, uses exhaust gas to turn a little fan basically to blow air into your engine harder. And so um, so that's what a turbocharger does. Uh, a supercharger uses a belt off the engine or it can use like, like a shaft on the engine to drive like a pulley um, that basically does the same thing. But you get, you get lag on a um, turbo where you don't get as much lag on a supercharger. Um, never put cheap oil in your car if you want it to last. Oh, yeah, exactly. I mean, you always use the good stuff when you can. Because it, it's just going to allow your vehicle to last longer. Your Grand Prix was supercharged. I would honestly, well, I would honestly rather have a supercharged vehicle than a turbocharged. Um, there's just a lot less that can go wrong with a supercharger than it, there is with a turbo. Man, we missed a bunch of spots. What the heck, dude? Man, this guy's fired. But yeah, I mean, a supercharger makes your car more fuel efficient too. Because it's, you know, the, the higher, you know, the, the higher compression the air is in the pistons, the more, you know, ener you know the more combusti combustive energy it produces. So you get better, you actually get better fuel efficiency, which is, which is nice. Nice side effect of the supercharger. Ah, what the heck? There's like a big spot down there where the weeds, gosh darn it. Got just a little tiny spot over here. It looks like we missed some. Not even really worth going over, but I'll do it. Bam. Okay. Um, what kind of Audi do I have? I have a 2010. Um, it's an A6 3.0 T. it's 300 horsepower and oh my gosh it's freaking fast <laughs> it's got quattro actually I don't want to put that in there because we're almost out of fertilizer I shouldn't have driven it all the way back here because now I just have to drive it back again um okay these guys are like bear what are we doing we don't know um, let's fire you. So I'm just going to hit him and then hit these spots kind of up here, and then we'll hit that. And then we'll pretty much be ready to go. Oh, that's what this is. Okay, so that's where the um, tires marred the field but yeah I take I take really you know I take really good care of my car and um, yeah I always you know put exactly what the manufacturer recommended stuff is I don't go to like you know 
Billy Bob's oil change. I'll, I'll actually take it to Audi to get the oil changed. Um, and there, actually, a buddy of mine had a. He had an Audi years ago. This is back, probably in the late '90s or early 2000s. He had an old A4, and he took it to freaking Jiffy Lube. And Audis are kind of weird, um, especially back then. You needed a special tool, I think, to change the oil on it. And so they actually ended up, they drained the oil, but then they didn't take off the oil cap. They took off the, I think it was the transmission fluid cap, and they poured transmission fl flu or they poured oil into his transmission fluid, and then they couldn't figure out why it was overflowing. Yeah, apparently it was a freaking nightmare. And um, he had to actually sue them to fix his car, and it was like, it was so freaking expensive. It was like $15,000 because they had to replace the whole transmission. I, maybe it wasn't that much, but I remember it was like some ridiculous amount of money. Maybe it was like 12000 or something. I can't remember. But yeah, if Audis aren't cheap to work on when something like really bad happens. But uh, see, Dom Dominic Caman uh, Camacho. Hey, Brad and chat. Been watching your live streams for a while. But the day after you post it. I'm glad I can finally watch live. Well, thank you so much, Dominic. Glad you're here. We're probably going to be calling it a day here, though, shortly, because we are almost... We're almost done, to be honest. Because we've got all of the weeding done. We just need to get a little bit more fertilizing done. I guess I'll just go ahead and do it with this guy. Um, go. There we are. Really? I just found your live stream. <laughs> Yeah, because um, I actually, we've been going for about three hours, two, two hours and 47 minutes. I told myself in my, in my inside brain, inside the brain voice that I was going to, that I was going to um, end it at uh, midnight and we're past midnight now by 22 minutes. So um, yeah, I'm going to do the, uh, the last, bit. oh shoot. I'm gonna do the last bit of fertilizing here and then we are gonna have to call it a night. Wait, come on now, here we go. Oh, I, I really like these um, these lights. These are really cool. Helper H has completed his task. <gasps> Where is he? There he is. All right, back to the main farm. 58 likes, man. It's been slow tonight. I think, I think the the fact that I've been sick and like everybody kind of had the few days off, and also, you know, the streaming problems that we've had tonight have been have kind of done some people in. I think, including myself to some degree. Um, ooh, let's see here. No, we we're still getting. About 12% drop frames every two to three minutes. That is so weird. I don't know. I don't, again, I don't know if that's a YouTube ingest problem. It shouldn't be a problem with my, P my PC. <clears throat> I'd be shocked if it was. Thank you for the vids. First time to see a live stream. It's cool. Thank you again. Well, thanks, Steve Hess. Thanks for stopping by and uh, hanging out with the hanging out for the live stream. Uh, 
Okay, so we got it. Jumped in there. Um. Yeah, I guess we can um, take this guy down. We'll take the quick way. We'll go down this way. Since it's kind of, it's pretty smooth. It's not like ramping off a cliff where it's like this some ridiculous, ridiculously unrealistic way to get down from the top of a mountain. Um, what time do you do? I typically look, go live um, usually in the evenings. Um, I'd say between six and nine p.m. Eastern time. Um, I usually try to start you know around eight o'clock p.m. Eastern and go for you know a few hours. Likes. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Still got 62 people watching. That's not too bad for almost 12.30 a.m. on a Monday night or Sunday night. Monday morning. Gosh, I can't believe it's Monday. Is it really Monday? Oh, my gosh, it is. Whoa, all these people are messaging me. What's going on? What? What? Um, okay. <laughs> what? Why was I getting off? I had like a bunch of was it Twitter? Um, thanks for tagging us, which... I swear, freaking YouTube is... YouTube tech support is so worthless. They are so worthless. And it, even, as a, it, even as a content creator, I literally have, like, no special line to, like, YouTube support. It's... It's just so... I, like, I feel embarrassed for them sometimes. It's so bad. Go. No. Enter. And. Hire the worker. There we go. <laughs> Like, like, literally the best way to even try to get any kind of answer whatsoever out of YouTube tech, tech support is to tweet them on Twitter. And that's, like, you know... What? Completed the task? You just started the... Oh, my gosh. Okay. He's done. Field 18. That's all good. Seven. Okay. Yep. Horses are at 91%. So... Actually, we can go ahead and speed up time. The, the horses will be at 100%. They should be. They need some water. They need some straw. They need some... Eh, not, they don't really need... Water and straw, yeah. Hey, uh, hey no, not really. All righty. We are done. We got everything. Everything done that we wanted to get done. We got done. Everything we got done. I, I don't ask me what that was. I have no idea. I'm hungry. I'm actually 
I'm actually feeling famished right now. I don't know <laughs> what, what the heck. Why I'm so darn hungry. Um, oh, look at Mr. Arfy. Hi, Arfy. Oh, I didn't know he sleep. Sleeped? Did I just say sleeped? I'm so ashamed of myself. Um, where is the... There he is. I totally didn't know the dog actually slept. That's kind of cool. Now, I'm going to show you guys a little trick in the rare case that you need to take. No, it's not very rare. Or it's actually very common. Um, you need to take two fertilizer spreaders to shop at once. And that is, boom, how about them apples? Ah, no, I don't want to fertilize nothing. And um, you can take them both up. Fertilize, you know, fill them, not fertilize them. Why would you fertilize a fertilizer? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Are you doing the horse helper mod? Yes. If so, where do I find it? Um, it is... If you go onto my Discord, it is um, in the link. If you go into the Farming Simulator, it's like my Farming Simulator 19 dedicated server Discord channel. Um, pinned is the full mod list there, and it's actually one of the mod lists. You can just download it directly off of my multiplayer server. Oh gosh, can't really see much there. So let's see. Yep, the horses are at 100%, so they're all at $50,000. So I guess in the next episode we'll sell all the horses and buy a bunch more horses. And we'll have another 300 some thousand, 350 some thousand. Um, Three, what, 340, it's it's around $350,000 or so that you get, you know, from selling all the horses plus buying all new horses. All right, guys, I, I'm just going to leave him up here for right now. That is going to be it for this episode of Farming Simulator 19. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me, um, sticking with me through the, uh, the horrible, horrible, the, the great internet slowdown of January 2019. No, I don't know. I'm <laughs> just trying to think of this disastrous internet uh, experience that we've had tonight. I'm really sorry. There's, re I, I don't know. I'm just guessing it's, you know, something is out of my control and I can't really do too much about it. So hopefully tomorrow uh, it'll clear up and uh, we'll have a nice uh, beautiful stream again tomorrow. But thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like button before you leave. Uh, it tremendously helps me out. Um, thank you to all the new members uh, who have joined in the last week or so. Uh, Sander DeVries, yes, I'm going to stream tomorrow. That is the plan, unless something worse happens. Uh, hopefully it does not. And uh, I will see you next time for more Farming Simulator 19. Guys, I'm Bradham73. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.